to his high score challenge. Recap for City Bomber. The game was a okay, I guess. Aliens was a lot more wronger. There's also a recap for season eight. And a little break before season nine. So join us now, we're a miserable lot. But you might make a shine. It's about to get sweaty. Hey, hey, how you doing? It's me, it's Big Juffa with a recap for City Bomber that we've been playing for the last two weeks and also a recap for the entirety of Season 8. Ooh, that went quick, didn't it? Anyway, enough of that funny in the back. Apologies if you can hear noise in the background. We're having the gutters hoovered. So there's probably a bloke you can hear whizzing away with his machinery. Anyway, on to City Bomber. City Bomber, what to say about it? Decent little game, um, but with a weird scoring mechanic that we'll get to later. Anyway, let's see how many we've got. Got 18 people, that's a little bit far away, but I'll leave it as it is. So you can see, 18th place, we've got Gold Pain, 86,385, I think that is, might be 65, well done, Gold. 17th place, 10 past 8, with 125,335, well done, mate. Uh, 16th place, Top Sausage, 193,795, and then in 15th, the Nawaf, and 258, I'm not going to lie, it took me ages to beat his score. With 248,675. A mere 3,000 points in him, in front of him rather, is Pirate Daz in 14th place with 251,245. Then the first of the people to break 300,000 is in 13th Pixie with 308,458. Well done, mate. At number 12, we've got Cosmic Colin, who, as always, was the first to post his score, so well done, Colin. Again, took me ages to beat your score. Uh, 323,920. And then in 11th place is Novabug with 342,365 points. Well done, Novabug. Then into the top 10, where things get a little bit closer. Old Style Gaming with 371,990. Well done, buddy. Uh, ninth place, Salt Your Pasta. New joiner from Zypho's Discord, I think. Uh, 374,665 points. And then we get to the top eight who all got more than 400,000, which is incredible because this game is rock hard. So in eighth place, we've got Ponder, 405,555. That's too many fives. Just in front of him by a Nats Chuff is Luke Rainford in seventh with 408,040 points. Just slightly in front of him in sixth is Man Shovel with 422,645. And then we get to the top five where... Slightly in front of Manchival, we've got Acidonia 150 with a brilliant score of 439,210. Well done, mate. In fourth place, Beautiful Maud with 462,115 points. Well done, Maud. Unlucky to not get 500k. Third place was me with 490,300. And I did not cheat, but I maximised the scoring on the second level because this game doesn't reward progress. So... I've had games where I got to level 5 and scored about 200k. So I juggled the trees a bit on level 2 to get that score. Just in front of me with a legitimate amazing score is Psygnosis STG. With 492,575 points, well done mate. But out in front by some considerable margin is Mark Blaster the Gamer who got 555,030 points and made it almost to the end. So yeah, well done mate. That was brilliant, which changes the leaderboard like. Right, where were we? Had an interruption there. Uh, right, leaderboard. So um, this is the final results for season eight. So you can see I'm in the front in first place with 187 points. Maud in second with 180 points. Nice one, Maud. Old Style Gaming with 170. And then I'll only read out down to six because it was quite a close battle for fifth and fourth. Zygnosis STG with 164. Just behind him, Mark Blaster with 160. That was a really good fight. And Manchel in six with 143. So the overall recap now for season eight. We've got a winner's podium where you can see myself in the middle. Wee <laughs> go me. Uh, first place, Big Juffa. Second place, Maud. And third, OSG. And we thought we'd make a little bit of fuss of the runners up as well. So in the runners-up positions, we've got Psygnosis STG in fourth. Well done, mate. Mark Blaster in fifth and Manchival in sixth. So you don't win any cash or anything daft like that. But 
it's good to be recognised, isn't it? But well done to everyone who took part. It's been a, a shorter season, which we've done to make sure we can fit everything in and get the World Cup in and everything like that. So thank you for taking part. Very quickly, there's a list of all the games that we played through the season. And you can see, I think I won three of them. I think Maud won three of them or four. We've had a few uh, different winners throughout, which is great. Psygnosis STG. He won one of them. I'm having to zoom out a little bit. <laughs> we can't even see it. Uh, OSG won a couple. And Novabog, of course, won R-Type. So, yeah, quite a good season. Some very poor games in there. I'm not going to mention which ones. Aliens. Uh, but, yeah, not a bad season at all. Pretty good. Brings us on to the 1cc club. I'll have to close down all this stuff behind it. Uh, so, you can see, leading the 1cc club is Maud with 22. I'm second with 16. Uh, one Credit Gaming, who I don't think takes part anymore, but always welcome to come back with 13. Old Style Gaming with 11. Novable with 7. And Mark Blaster with 6. And then you can see Zypho, he's not played for ages. Benji Man UK, wish he'd come back. And then superstars such as Pearl, who joined us for one game, handed us our asses, and then thankfully <laughs> didn't come back. So, what we're we doing? We're going to start season 9. In a couple of weeks time but until then we're gonna have a little bit of a break and a bit of downtime and have a bit of fun with blade buster which is a little break we're having two weeks playing this you don't have to take part it doesn't contribute to the next season but it might be a little bit of fun it's a great little game shoot them up uh, playing the caravan mode on five minutes so when you start the game up press select change it to five minute mode and then just score as many points as you can so yeah hope you enjoy it have a good time and if not, probably your own fault, innit? Anyway, see you later. Bye. <laughs> Live to shoot another day. <laughs>